Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm the Jin here. So, I've become a little nervous about China recently. Like everybody, for the longest time, people have been, you know, for the entire time that I've been in Taiwan, 20 plus years, people have been saying to me, oh, China's going to attack you guys next month. For 20 years, they've been saying that. And when you talk to the locals here, the locals are like, yeah, China's been threatening to attack us for our entire lives. Um, things have escalated. Uh, obviously, it's all over the news constantly. Uh, things have escalated these last few weeks. They're doing these live fire drills in the airspace around Taiwan. So flights are being canceled. In other words, they're, 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 and then they're adding on to the areas that they're saying that they're doing the drills in. They're essentially slowly uh, creating a ring around Taiwan where planes can't fly in or out of. And if China, if China were smart, that's what they'd do. They'd just close the airspace around Taiwan and then close the waterways. Do, do drills, drills uh, in the water in a circle around Taiwan. And then do drills in the airspace around Taiwan. And then Taiwan would have no incoming or outgoing boats or airplanes. And they would have effectively suffocated all trade and I don't I don't think Taiwan makes enough food to feed itself so they could they could starve the island and that's a smart thing to do because they don't need to shoot a bullet or drop a bomb to beat Taiwan and if they do the starvation strangulation uh, method then yeah then Taiwan's screwed because because no one's gonna come to, no one's gonna rush to Taiwan's aid when China's not actually attacking, you know what I mean? Uh, and, but the question is, have, has, Taiwan, has China ever done this before? This, this, what they're doing right now, live drills and around the island? Yes, they have. It was back in like 1996, which was actually around the time that I came here. And then for the next, uh, you know, 1996, it's 2022 now, so that's like 26 years so they've done this before, and then 26 later, you know, still nothing. <laughs> so they've actually done this before, and if it's the same as the last time they did it, then that means for the next 26 years after now, there's still going to be nothing. Nothing past this level of what they're doing right now. Because they've done this before. A long, long time ago, and nothing came of it. So so will anything come of it, come of it now? That's Nobody knows. I, I think there's a chance they're just going to keep doing more of the same. But, but these live fire drills that they're doing, they've announced that they're just going to do them until Sunday, which is only like three days away. So if in three days from now they leave and go back to China, then that's, that's it. That's it. That's their showboating is over. It's done with. It doesn't make sense for them to actually attack, to start dropping bombs on the country. Uh, because, yeah, like, the whole point of taking over Taiwan is Taiwan is an economic... Ooh, powerhouse. Oh, yeah, careful. Ooh, and you got mosquitoes on you. Are you okay? Yeah, he's, like, breathing heavily. Like a big sigh. So, yeah, that's the feeling here right now. The locals, I've talked to locals, I've talked to co-workers, they couldn't care less. Like, I've never, I've, I've yet to meet any local Taiwanese person that's worried. Uh, the foreigners that live here, 80% of them are like, yep, same old, same old. They're not worried either. 20% of them are like, oh, I'm getting scared. I'm getting ready to move back to America, getting ready to move back to wherever. And I don't blame them. It's, to be perfectly honest, I think I'm about ready to leave myself because I've got kids to worry about. And it's like, it's, it's the added stress. Is put, it's putting a lot of stress on my wife. Not so much me, but my wife is like worrying about it all the time. So she's kind of like stressed. And it's a good time to just... I have family in Canada. But the problem is, is I can't leave. Because uh, even though I have full custody of JD, um, I would still need his mom's permission to leave. Why? Because she has visitation rights. I have full custody, but she has rights to see him on the weekend. And therefore, I can't just take him out of country. So hopefully China doesn't completely annihilate us within the next five years or so until JD's 18. Hey, yeah.